They are ready for a fight. The following contest is a tag team extreme rules match and at a combined weight of 464 pounds, the Red Faction. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over. Uncle Howdy is here. Bray Wyatt's visions have come to life. And now, no one is safe. We've seen Uncle Howdy many times, but his actions, his motivations are still unknown. I'm so confused about so much when it comes to Howdy. We've seen him aid Bray Wyatt. Other times, he's attacked Bray Wyatt. Heck, is he really even Bray's uncle? Well, one thing's for sure. Uncle Howdy is a frightening opponent for any competitor. Guys, can I be honest for a second? I am... Really scared. We know. Aren't you guys? I'm just sort of darkly curious. It's impossible to look away because there's no telling what happens next. Hey, howdy. Byron's been talking about you. Oh, no, 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 no. Quiet, Michael. Be quiet. He said your mask is stupid just and you don't scare him. Stop, Corey. You're going to get me hurt. Byron, get your hand off my leg. Ray Wyatt has given himself over to the feed. One of the most malicious, venomous, bizarre superstars in WWE history. Ask anyone who has had the misfortune of coming into contact with The Fiend. It is an experience that will change your life forever. And certainly not for the better. I know his hands say hurt and heal, but The Fiend seems to focus more on the hurting. Where The Fiend goes, suffering follows.
This frightening monster is ready to devour anyone who stands in his way. An eerie supernatural force, and at times seems totally unstoppable. Good luck to his opponent. The Fiend is unlike anyone or anything we've ever seen before. These superstars have battled through and finally made their way to the final round. It all comes down to this. All the work, all the effort, all for this moment. Forearm club. Shifts it back onto him. Toss. Nasty knee. Put it in the corner now. Point of the elbow, nailed it. Got right in the solar plexus. Oh, I had that well scouted. The Fiend reverses. Oh, and Fiend gets cut off. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Axe handle. Play and possum. Shoulders down. And shoulders up before a count of one. Maybe that was just to keep his opponent off balance. In a no disqualification match, you never want to be the superstar on the wrong end of a chair or a kendo stick. Or whatever else might be hiding under the ring. You want to be the one inflicting that punishment because that's how you control the pace and the match as a whole. Neckbreaker. Out. Oh, Here he goes for the win. Only a one count before the kick out. Staying in this one. Turning the tables. Off the leg. Time. He's looking for an implement of destruction under the ring. Oh, the steel ladder being used as a weapon. The Fiend turns the table. And that was taking the... There! That was vicious. Can that finish the Fiend? Two! Oh, he gets the shoulder up before three. Just an incredible wherewithal to get the shoulder up. Yeah, you would think he'd be out of it after taking that maneuver. That was the home run shot. That got right and that was a precisely measured attack. Oh, he's got him here. He's got him up. And sidewalk slam. High impact cross body. Range down an elbow in retaliation. Turns it around. Sole of the foot meets the stomach. tag team win. This right pairing can certainly do wonders, and make no mistake, this was a wonderful performance tonight.